as you've heard, welcome back to Pikmin 4. Today, we are heading back into the Giant's Hearth. Of course, we're still trying to track down Louie, but in the meantime, I figure there are some other missions done here, like the treasure catalog, making some progress. We'll go chat with you. Ah, you've collected quite an impressive trove of goodies. It's humbling, really. It isn't much, but please accept this. So we get ourselves 50 more of the material for collecting 200 treasures, which is pretty exciting. Please, if you will, let me appraise as many goodies as possible. So we need 239 now, so we're really getting close. And see how that's sort of like a weird, uneven number? I'm guessing that means it's probably the last of the treasures, all the way up to 239. And there should be one new character to talk to that we saved last time around. I don't quite see them, though. There's supposed to be a fortune teller. Maybe back this way? I'm not really seeing them, so I'm sure we'll catch up to them eventually. We don't really have much else to afford. We need 240 material to get some other things unlocked. So yeah, let's not waste any time. We'll just head into um, our adventures for for the day. I hope we rescue the veterinarian Nell soon. I'm starting to get antsy. Me too. Which area would you like to explore? We're going right back into the giant hearth to rescue more people, to explore more of the area. All sorts of things still need to be done here, but each time we go, we clear out more of it. So it makes it easier to get around for sure. So let's make some more progress today. So we're landing again on Giant's Hearth for the third time. Last time we were here, we cleared out a lot of the sprinklers. We got a lot of more of the grills on fire, but I think there's more of that to do still. First thing I'll do is call return Pikmin, uh, just get the automatic out, seems like a fair balance. And then over here, yeah, we didn't actually save that one leafling in time, unfortunately. So I just wanna work on that now. So we'll get 12 Pikmin over here and then another three over there. So that'll be pretty nice to get that done. In the meantime, this is cleared out over here. I think we're really mostly done there. And it looks like over here, I have some stuff, but the sprinkler needs to be turned off. So it's really a whole situation over this way that we need to sort of familiarize with ourselves a little bit more. There's also a couple of caverns to get into, but I figure we'll save those for a little bit later. Ooh, this I did not see before. Do we have the height just to throw this over? We do. So we can get this brought down really fast. Gotcha. That'll be nice and useful. Okay, yeah, I see how this works. So if we go over here, we can start working on the sprinkler. Make sure that this one gets turned off, but guess what? It's another Dandori battle. So they're gonna be working on all of that. I see the spider I would really have to get rid of as soon as possible. Really nice to get that done. And then throw that over. Okay, so the only problem is, yeah, until I get that sprinkler turned off, it's a little complicated. I could go and figure that out. So we got another Dandori battle waiting for us. There's a lot of caverns around here that we can start working on. So I'll definitely be getting that done soon. But uh, in the meantime, what's over here? Looks like more of the same. I might send some Pikmin to deal with this. So let's do like some of that and some of that, just so that they can get some of those. And then yeah, we were over that way before. I'm sort of remembering a bit more now. So we got some more fire to spread for sure. And I think the Pikmin are working on turning off the sprinkler. They are. As soon as they're done, we'll grab them and rush over this way. So first things first is I wanna grab a little flame, like that, and then we'll call it over. Oh, did I not throw, I think I didn't throw enough Pikmin over there to the one leaf flame, cause that's still not zipped up. So I guess we could do that soon. But whoa, hey, creepy craw crawlies, I don't like them. I don't like them. Oh no. Um, once we fight off a couple of them though, we should be okay. All right, we got most of them. Everybody's still here, everybody's still okay. That's good. Okay, so I got a lot of uh, stuff there. That's nice. And we got a couple of Pikmin blooming from all that. So I'll get the spicy nectar. I will definitely have to get back over here. So in the meantime, if I could command Ochi to go back to the base so that we can get that one leafling in, that would be good. I just wanna get that dealt with. Okay, so with this whole group, I have to light that one thing on fire. And then maybe I'll call more friends over there so we can get them sorted. Okay, seems good. Just need to toss that right over that way. And that refills it for us too. So where is, there's another one over here. There's a bunch of stuff to light on fire over that way. Gotcha, it's sort of becoming more clear now. Is that what I'm looking at? Yeah, okay. Oh, I see. So for right now, no, no, no. I'll do this, got it. And then back over here. Oh, I need to light this one aflame too. 
Uh, this will allow me, of course, to move our ship over there. It's a new base unlocked, very exciting. I'll leave a lot of the other stuff for later. I'm just trying to find out what the water drained. Oh, Louie, what am I going to do with him? I don't know what you are gonna do with him. Oh, I need, okay, I can't do this one just yet. I'll need Ochi's help for it. But if we switch over to Ochi, I want them to help. I hear you. where are you? I can't, I, I swear that I threw three of them over, but whatever. We can do that, we can command ourselves to just chill out over here, I guess. Some of the Pikmin will come over. There we go. I think we got enough of these ultra spicy nectars, I would hope. But there we go, this leafling is finally taken care of. I'm gonna check the leafling's ID. Maybe this time I'll get lucky. I don't know. <laughs> I guess not. No good, why do I do this to myself? I have no clue. Um, so now we call everybody over. I make sure that Ochi is coming here. That way we can just get more done. Got it. We have most of the Pikmin with us. Pretty good, pretty good. So we'll just hop on top of Ochi. And we want to probably just move the ship over now. I think that'd be a good idea. So that was right over that way, right? Yeah, we got an enemy to deal with first. Oh my. Uh, you know what, we'll charge. Oh, okay, that could've been better, could've been worse. Chomp through the rest of them, they just keep fighting. Nice. But we did lose one pick then, I'm so sorry. But uh, we can move the ship over here. That'll be a pretty convenient place for it to be. So we're not even halfway through today. We have a lot more to go, of course, but I'll throw a lot of rock picking over. They should be able to deal with that pretty well. There we go. And then I wanna deal with Louie soon enough. He's been waiting over there. I just wanna go deal with this first. So what I think the best thing to do is to toss this over. We jump up, we call you over again. Come on. And then we toss it here. So this seems like a pretty fancy thing. Um, so we can get water Pikmin to deal with it, blue Pikmin, pretty easily. And that should really clear out this area pretty nicely. While that's happening, it looks like there's still a few more things to do. The first thing I spot is going to be getting another one of these, bringing this over to uh, over this brick. It looks like there's something. It looks a little weird to be able to get up there, but I guess I could do this. We could jump up, throw the Pikmin, and then, no, what are you doing? Really? <laughs> okay, come on, call you over. I'm definitely out of time for this one. That's so awkward. I don't like that very much. Okay, let's fight this enemy first anyways. So I have a feeling that might be a pain. So I will go and charge that one. How did that miss? Come on. There we go. And then the other one over this way. I'll charge you again. Never mind. Yeah, I need to torch this thing. I figured hopping up here with it would be the best way to do that, but it might be a little awkward. I do see another enemy over here. I might have to hop off of Ochi. Is it running away from us? Do get back here. I feel like we weren't over here before. Weird. Um. Anyways, there's that cleared up. I guess we didn't get up here with Ochi, but we can do that some other time. I wanna get back over there. Back on top of him. Or not. There you go. How am I gonna do this in time? Like, maybe there's a better way to go about it? I'd hope so. Let's see what's on the other side. No, you can definitely not get up there very easily, at least from there. I really think that we're just supposed to awkwardly to toss it up there, which I'm not a big fan of, but oh wait, there's one over here to clear out too. That might make it way easier. I did not see that before, so I'm just working on these as much as I can. It helps us get around a lot. Got it. Call you over. And it was right up here. So I would like to do that. Call you over again. So we still have more flames we can make the most out of here. Ah, I can't do too much with it here. Okay, that's sort of a shame. But I wonder if I were to go down there with it, can I go through a grate with it? Probably. So we'll just go with that another time. For now, and a few more Pikmin so we can get up there. So there's a lot of height to this, and I do see another floor like up there, which I guess isn't the most exciting thing, not that it won't increase our Pikmin count, but that's okay. So what's the deal with this thing over here? I'm really curious about this. I might have to hop on the Oshi for it. It looks like 
Just like some kind of weird stone. Can't even jump up there. It's on top of like a sewer grate or something. One more. There we go. Oh, and over here, what happened? Whoa, what happened? Oh, bugs, cro gross, creepy, crawly. Come on. Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, deal with them as much as I can, because I can't jump up there right now. Everybody calm down. Oh my gosh, we're about halfway through today now. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing. There we go. Okay, I still can't get up here. You think, okay. See, was that so hard? <laughs> Whatever Pikmin we have left, yeah, we'll try to get them to get, grab some nectar, but it looks like they didn't really want it. We can get the Pikmin to do the rest of that, and then over here, I guess. Are these rocks, or whatever these are? They can't be knocked off. But this wall over this way definitely needs, whoa, that was like a fossil, so cool. It needs to bomb rocks, which I have a good amount of. So we should be able to toss that over, and it'll explode. Ooh, very desolate over here. It looks like something's been burned up. Like the whole ground looks scorched. So we'll keep breaking this open. I think we'll need one more. But that should do the trick. Excellent. So toss a bunch of Pikmin over for that. And we won't go over there just yet. Looks like there might be some creepy crawly enemies. Uh, I will want to deal with that soon. Just not now. Okay, everybody group back up again. For the millionth time, I want to run over here. Because the, the sooner we can get every pathway cleared up, the better, in my opinion. That way we can focus on just being productive with the rest of the time. So while our percentage might not go up super high for the time being, I think we're all right. See, what if I were to rush through here? This is my plan, this is my strategy. Hop off of Ochi, you guys can still follow me through, right? And then toss it up there, perfect! And whoa, golden bug, golden critter, that's new. Uh. Here, go ahead, just throw whatever pick that I can at it. Go crazy on it, guys! Whoa! We're getting a lot of spicy nectar out of it. Come on, keep going, keep going. It's uh, not doing much anymore. Everybody's getting really confused. Uh, Come on, there we go. I'm trying to knock it over, the camera's not very useful here. Whoa, we got like a golden chip out of it. That was nice. Okay, one, two. And then also grab all this nice spicy nectar. Get back over here. I don't know if I could do it from here. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't. That's okay, we'll just get back up this way. Grab another. And then once everybody is over this way, just gotta burn this one. All right, that's all we needed. So complicated, right? Actually, it wasn't all we needed. There's more over here. But once I get it all cleared up like this, it's just so much nicer. So there's that done. I think that's really all we needed to do for real now. I go like this. And get those picked in the start moving. I sort of wanna disband real fast. There we go. Just to see what's going on over this way. Oh no, there's another one. Why is there another one? <laughs> You're kidding me. Okay, you guys stay over there. Oh no, come on, come on. You can get through. You did great. Keep it moving. But then after this, we're definitely jumping into some caverns because <laughs> I don't wanna waste too much more time. There are some pigment sprouts waiting. What well, they can keep waiting. Uh, toss it over there. And then. Get you over this way, come on, come on. Can't believe there just had to be one more around the corner. No, you guys, you guys, disband. You, no, come on, are you serious? Whatever, whatever, we'll deal with it later. We're running out of time, that is so frustrating. It's just little tiny movements that the Pikmin make that I didn't tell them to do. All right, well, what I'm curious about then is that way over here, we can get Ochi to come here. There's something going on with Louie. Louie's hanging out over this way. I wanna see what the deal is. So, I can see all the Pikmin rushing over as well as Louie. We've got a bunch of Pikmin that also try to dig that up. Louie's running over. Oh, not Louie, uh, <laughs> Ochi's running over, oh my gosh. Uh, there we go. All right, we arrived at the destination, everything's set up. Let's get over here and see what's up with you. Cause they have Nell. So are they just gonna be in there? I guess so. There they are, Louis and Moss. I see him, at least the cop I cast away looks safe for now. We need to get him to hand them over. Are they just gonna be chilling out here this whole time? Ah, he ran into that cave. What does he even want with that castaway? You've gotta chase him down, Zebra. Okay, well now I'm a little bit worried that that might be the last thing, and if it is, maybe it would be better to complete everything else first. 
I thought maybe he would just run off to somewhere else. It seems like it. So if that's really gonna be the last fight, we should look around for some other stuff first. There's a floor look and a bunch of stuff on top of that building. Um, but there's a cave over here we can enter. So I'm gonna move my way to that one. It's over here. I'll save the cavern for some other time, just to make sure that we can get everything else 100% done. So we're still only at 45% right now. It doesn't seem like much, but we got a lot set up in a good way. So, yep, hopping into this one. This one's ultimate testing range. I filled my belly with all kinds of snacks. The strongest creatures are the tastiest, except that ultimate weapon-like one. It was barely edible. <laughs> all right, well, let's go into sub-level one. This one seems like it might be a tough mission. All right, so our first sub level here, the ultimate testing range. Got a bunch of uh, winged and white Pikmin here too, which is pretty cool. Okay, I might just be able to toss them over, right? No, uh, okay, don't do that. <laughs> Good thing that that didn't really happen the way I thought it would. Okay, oh, you're the poison kind. Okay, gotta be careful. Might be actually a good thing that I missed my, my charger because as you can see, they're gonna do a poison attack. But maybe I could just wait for that and then miss again. They're so tiny that it's just easy to miss them. Come on, throw more white Pikmin over. So they're immune to that poison attack, which is really nice. One, two, that's all we need for there. Then we have a little something over this way. I'm just toss some blue Pikmin over for that one. What's the deal with all of this? Because there's the exit already. You could really make it a quick one if you wanted to. But over this way now. See, would they know to like take the little air boost? Let's see. If they do, I'll send the whole thing over. Seems like it, yeah, okay. So we'll get that whole thing set up. Oh, there's a monster over there with that one. That's so unfair. Okay, hold on. Get boosted up, and then I will fight you. <laughs> the Pikmin are holding on to it. So I'm just gonna charge you like that, and that immediately does damage you, but it doesn't fully knock you out. All right, wait, pick them to your thing. Now, got it. Oh, we won right through you that time, very nice. We'll do that. I want to hop back down this way. Oh, I just barely made that jump, that was extra scary. They're still working on that. I'm very curious to see where these lead. This will bring me up, right? Up to this thing, it's another dart. I think we already completed that series previously, but I guess we'll get another chance here. And then this bridge will make everything significantly easier. So we can call these Pikmin over. Same thing with this group. And now we're gonna be taking this path over. If we can make it there in time, come on, come on. We got it, we got it. Looks like there's a couple more enemies waiting for us here. So if I could just jump off and then maybe just charge you. Gotcha, that finishes you off nice and easy. Same thing with this enemy. Ooh, hold on, charge up, charge up. Gotcha. How do you like that one? So two there, two here. They can't actually bring it over just yet. Not until we weigh this down. But luckily we have a lot of Pikmin who can do that. Got it. So, so far the sub level is actually not too bad, but plenty more left to survive. I'm going to send some out that way. And then uh, there may be a lot more over there. But I guess I need a little bit of them. Yeah, just a little bit, just a couple. <laughs> okay, well that's a lot more than a couple. We'll do that and then have Ochi break this open. Now we're all moving, excellent. So, a bunch of blue Pikmin to deal with that one, and this stuff, and then also don't forget turning some of them into winged Pikmin. Much better. Always good to have a growing supply of these harder to obtain Pikmin. And let's see what we can do over here. It looks like there's definitely a couple of Pikmin we can sprout. So hopefully, yeah, we do get some nectar. But it looks like, you know, the treasure meter went off, so hopefully that's everything we can do. Okay, that's, there's still more Pikmin here that can bloom. There we go, much better. That's everything for the sub-level for real. So we are just gonna head right out of here as soon as we can, because I don't see any other materials or anything to grab, so we made quick work of this one. Hopefully sub-level two goes just as well as this one does. All right, everybody hop in. The sub level two is up next. I'm not quite sure how many sub levels it'll be. We'll see how much of a percentage we have through this area. Uh, 20%, so there's probably gonna be five sub levels. This enemy definitely means be fought with with water Pikmin, but actually we can defeat it super quick. Amazing, so 
I'll do five there, one there. Gets the job done. And obviously I could go that way without Ochi, but before we do, might be worth it to figure out what's going on over here. At least a couple more winged Pikmin. And if I toss one of these over, do they know to bring it up when it's also, like will they be able to be gusted up while carrying something? They will, excellent. So, get more of them to deal with it. Hop back onto Ochi. And check out, whoa everybody, <laughs> working together. Ooh, let's definitely deal with this guy now. So I'm just gonna charge you, hit you, take a few chomps out myself. Excellent. So I think for now, I probably wanna use Wing Pikmin for this because I don't see an easy way for them to get back. So we'll do this for now. Yep. And I think a lot of these other treasures, I'll just keep doing the same thing. Oh no, uh, I wasn't really intending to fall off myself, but here we go. We're all going back over. I need blue Pikmin for this one. And then we'll start fighting those enemies. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Um, which we have a perfect amount of wing Pikmin for this, so that's excellent. I'll pluck all of these. Then I need Ochi to knock over the little watermelon elephant. I don't know if he'll, there we go. Send everybody over. It is the whole squad of everybody. Awesome. And then again for this enemy. I'll send all the water Pikmin will hop on, on top of Ochi. Whoa, no, wait! Oh, I think we lost a couple off the edge. Maybe we didn't. Okay, luckily they somehow stayed on. That was a little scary. Let's have everybody break open some of these. And then once again, try to bloom as many Pikmin as possible. That was pretty nice. So in the meantime, there's a couple of things we gotta get done here. Sending a bunch of Pikmin over to deal with this now. That seems like it worked out pretty well. So we're gonna go up there with them. And this is the exit actually, so whatever Pikmin can dig some stuff up here. Pikmin are having trouble. Where are they? Oh, they don't know where to bring that just yet. We need to find a way to lower it, which it looks like the button's right up there. So that'll be excellent. We obtained another bomb rock, which is good because I used up three of them earlier to get that one wall down. Okay, getting this here. That seems like it helped out pretty well. The iron fences have been lowered. Get everybody together. Got that whole group there, but uh oh. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves, it seems. Oh no, I'm a little bit worried about this enemy then because they spit out fire. Um, yeah, let them do that and then, yep, here we go, here we go, charge up, boom. All we need to do as much damage as you as possible. I just don't want anybody to get flamed. There we go. So, one there, one here. This enemy is pretty heavy. And then, ooh, there's a Joy-Con up there. That's cool. Was not expecting that, so. We'll just get 10 of the wing Pikmin up there too. Very nice. So I think that's our first Joy-Con that we found. That looks like a left one, so we'll have to try to find a right one soon. It's always cool when we find the Nintendo stuff. We, we found a, a Game Boy Advance SP, a Game Boy Micro, a couple of Game Boy Advance cartridges. Now we're finding something a little bit more modern than Nintendo Switch Joy-Con. That looks like everything once we get that zipped up, but I'll wait and see. Seems like it to me. So yep, we, we got this one done. We're at 40% in total for this cavern. We still have, yeah, a few more Nintendo related things to find. So in the meantime, I'm jumping up here and we're making our way to the third sub level. Very cool, this is a fun one so far. Luckily, we're keeping up with this ultimate testing range. So this is sub level three. I'm guessing that there might be um, a castaway to save in this one, just because it said they, they needed two castaways. So, yep, seems like it. Huh, there must be a castaway nearby. So what's up with this enemy? I don't know if they spit out poison or not. We're just gonna tackle them like that and see if we can't make easy work of them. Luckily we're right next to the, what's it called, the, uh, the ship. So it's really easy to get some stuff delivered. Some of them are eating up the nectar. Let's send them all over to this next one too because it looks like at least the, the wing Pikmin. There we go. Always helps to have that. Okay, that's the back side of it. Same thing over here. So we need to launch ourselves over, whoa. We have a lot of enemies to deal with. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm a little bit worried. But if we can just send you down, then we'll hop on with Ochi, charge up, 
Boom! Hit you a ton there, but, oh. Come on, keep punching, do whatever you gotta do. Let's back everything up. I've lost two Pikmin. I just don't wanna lose any more. There we go, awesome. I wanna destroy this as well, fast as possible. I know some of them are getting bubbled up from it, but we'll be okay. There's a few more. Oh yeah, let's start fighting you, I guess. Pikmin are having trouble, I'm trying to help. Got it. So right there. Lots of stuff to do around here. I'm trying to keep up with all of it. All the blue picked in here should be able to deal with this guy pretty fast. Got it. And I guess some of the wing pickpin are gonna bring that over. Can't move that box from this angle, but I do see this stuff over here, which should be pretty easy for them to work on. Was that enough? Actually, a few left over. I don't know if they're gonna be able to notice that. <laughs> so yeah, they're all getting lodged over there. I'll call them back over. At some point we'll deal with them. I wanna hop back on top of Ochi though. Charge this shot up and then boom, knock you out, no problem. Come on, keep chomping. Ochi can do it, Ochi can do it, there we go. Excellent, and there's two more of those little swords up there too. Of course, if we get the chance, make more winged Pikmin. Our winged and white Pikmin numbers are definitely skyrocketing today. Oh, that was only three of them, okay. The other two just didn't really go in. Here they come. Got the whole group of it now. So once we get everybody back over, 39 winged Pikmin, 29 white Pikmin, 28, something like that. And there's still some more off somewhere, it looks like you guys, right? So we'll do that. Up here I see two more little swords that can be picked up. And I wanted to move over there, but I missed my chance, so I'll have to wait. But th that feels like, yeah, this side of everything all finished up pretty nicely. I'll call over some more friends. And now we just have to do the second half. So far it says the sub level's at zero, but we'll find more of it here on this side. Okay, so for this, let's get off the platform as soon as possible so that does not become an issue. Got it. And I guess I'll do this. This time I definitely got five of them in. But how do I get up here? There's the enemy, okay. This is a little confusing. Huh. Cause I don't think I can hit this thing from the back side like this. I mean, maybe the wing Pikmin can do it. Or maybe I can just walk under. Oh, I can just walk under for some reason. Weird, but a bunch of my wing Pikmin got trapped. Oh no, you gotta keep fighting him then. We need to focus on this first. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I think we got it. And we only lost like one or two Pikmin, so overall not too bad of a situation. Now you gotta go. Come on, just throw it every, everything I got at it. Let's charge up. We bloomed a bunch of Pikmin flowers. There we go, feeling much better. I just wanna get rid of that enemy as soon as possible. Um, and then we'll just deal with all this stuff whatever way we can. And over here is sort of the same deal. If I can get Wing Pikmin to deal with it, I feel like that's a better way to get it done because they can just fly it over whatever way they need to. You don't have to worry about obstacles as much. With that done, I guess we just need to pluck this stuff and we're good to get out of here. I think that's gonna be everything for this area. So, pretty exciting. Yeah, I can see that our friend there is about to be zipped up and with it, I think, yeah, we'll get our ID. But it is a, a leafling, so leafling recovered, good work. Nothing. They all need to be cured as soon as possible, which we do have a decent little chunk of cures because we went on the night expedition. Um, not too long ago, but I think we're at 75% because we're just waiting for that one, I think it's a billiard ball or something, to be brought back. Once that's done, we just hop into here and we're, we're getting out of here, for sure. Almost there. <laughs> it takes its time, for sure. There it goes. Are we out of 100? We're out of 100. I'm hopping in. Let's not waste any time because we still have two more sub-levels to complete. Let's get a move on. All right, so we're going at it again, this time with sub-level three. It looks like there's a bridge to make over that way. Can't reach it from here. And the exit's actually just right over here, so if we really wanted to, <laughs> once again, there seems to be a lot of levels that are actually very easy to complete, technically, but not in the way we want to. Ooh, that'd be really nice with the ice Pikmin, to take on that guy. 
I've never really fought those jellyfish without ice Pikmin before, so we'll have to see how that goes. I might save it for a little bit later. See what else we have going on, just in case there are ice Pikmin on this level. But no matter which way I go, it looks like I'm gonna have to fight them. So we'll throw a couple blue, pi blue Pikmin over, because they will damage him down a little bit. So you just keep onslaughting with Pikmin. I don't know if they have really any kind of particular attack. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, get everybody over. Oh, no, 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 that's not good. There we go, we saved them. That could have been a disaster. Oh, they're so sparkly. Cool, well they only dropped this. Actually, can I take you? I wanna, I wanna do the wing Pikmin for it because they don't have to worry about the conveyor belts. Now this over here, if I could just, boom, charge it like that, I don't have to deal with the fire attack because we don't have Pikmin that really handle that very well. Okay, you over here, same deal. Gonna knock that off of you. I wish I would squish you too. Um, and then as soon as we can, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Do that. And then I know they're gonna yeah, torch up a little bit here, which is not what I want. Okay, now we go, now we go. Ooh, quickly. Oh, come on, you're such a stinker right now. Come on, move everybody back, and then as soon as we can, just attack, 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 before that fire comes in. Ooh, that's the worst. I'm knocking this off of you. And if we can just damage you down a little bit more, that's all I needed. Jeez, a little ridiculous, but uh, I guess I could have used Ochi. <laughs> Maybe I didn't think about that enough. Once again, let's not do this. Let's just use Wing Pikmin for now, because I have a lot of them now, which is great. And they can take the safer paths. Because I think the other Pikmin are gonna have to go the same way I'm going. Okay, got all of that. We're getting launched way over here, where there's a button to press. There's stuff to go back to over here too. Once again, if I can keep it the wing Pikmin, I think that's probably the best possible scenario. Okay. Even have a few left over. Let's try hopping onto this. I'm just curious. Yeah, it just brings me back over here. Whoa, what is this with this pink one? I'm guessing only wing Pikmin. I mean, usually color matching is an important thing. Oh no. Uh, that's not good. That's really not good. Come on, just toss as many Pikmin as I can at it then and see if we can fight you some other way. Um, Maybe Ochi can help? Here, Ochi, no, no, no. Uh, this feels really bad. Um, Come on, you deal with it. If Ochi can just do some little jump chomps, which I think he has the ability for now, I hope we can get all of our Pikmin back. It doesn't seem like any of them are getting hurt. They're just being held hostage. So there was that, that was ridiculous. You give me my Pikmin back and I'll break that one. If this button for the conveyor belts, which once again is like sort of for better or for worse, not really sure. And then that's all the treasures, really? Huh, weird. There's still a lot more to do around here, so I'm not quite finished, but let's just make this a safer place for everybody. If we can get rid of these jellyfish, that would really help. Just throwing a bunch over. If I just keep pelting you with Pikmin, that seems to be the strategy to go for. And that was the last jellyfish, right? Yep, perfect. Oh wait, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> I did not see you here before. Come on, come on, come on. Throwing all the blue Pikmin over too. Come on, everybody keep working on it. I might need more Pikmin to help me out here. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Come on, keep it going. Got it. That was a little crazy. We send the rest over to deal with that. And then once the bridge is built, I think, I guess it would be a little bit more obvious on what to do. So right now it's a little slow because of the bridge not being built. But I think they got the last pieces going out there. So I guess we should have prioritized that. Or is it not? There's gotta be some heading over right now. So why else would they just sit in here? Uh, good question. I don't know what the deal is. Whoa, okay, here they are, here they are. Weird. We're still waiting for two more. Where are you guys? They're definitely taking like a really slow way. Here they are. But then after that, I'm pretty sure we got everything. I didn't see any other piles. So really, in reality, we probably don't even need to complete this, but at this point, I just wanna make sure it's done. Clay bridge complete. <laughs> so I guess we could have technically saved some material by not completing it, but I don't know if that, you know, affects our contribution to 100%. Who knows? I don't think it does, but we're just gonna go to the next one.
All right, off we go to what should be the final sub-level of the ultimate testing range. All right, we were right at the final sub-level. Oh my, is that, I think we might have another big fight ahead of us. Huh, there must be a caster nearby. What is that thing? Uh, hello? Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't like the looks of this. I really don't like the looks of this. It's like a mechanical spider, scary. Oh no, oh no, what do we do about this thing? Uh, I'm gonna toss over as many Pikmin as possible for now. I guess that's the best bet. I, I don't know what it's up to. Whoa, hey, give me that step back. Oh no. Whoa, whoa, it's firing at us. I see what it means by testing range. Wow, okay. That was intense. I guess all we can do in the meantime is just to keep trying to burst it open, but it's gonna twist all of us off. And that weapon comes back out. Come on, keep it moving, keep it moving. Oh no! <laughs> run, Ochi, run! I don't know if we can do much here. Yeah, we just end up going right through. Oh, and there's a little wall to hide behind too. Interesting. I think I just want to mostly keep the flying Pikmin for the time being. Because we have more than a quarter of its health down now. Exciting. Okay, run, run, run. Oh! <laughs> oh man, yeah, the wall really helps, but man, they're just going for another round here and they're slowly bursting that wall. Okay, get back up and throw as many Pikmin as I can. It's slowly doing work. Uh-oh. This is where I want to be careful. I don't want to lose any of these winged Pikmin. As much as I can prevent. Oh no! Oh no, whoa! Oh, I think some of them got shot there. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, back to the winged Pikmin. It's like slowly doing stuff. We're more than halfway through now. No, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. We gotta get everybody moving so none, none of them get totally destroyed here. This is such an intense fight. This thing means business. What made this thing, you know? It's just like, some of the creatures are like totally organic, but this was clearly made by something. That's where the mysteries of Pikmin just really make me wonder. Why are they trying to destroy that wall over there? I think we're better off without that happening. Come on. We're almost through this. Here. Toss as many Pikmin as I possibly can. Ah, oh, we almost got it though. I just don't want them to be attacking while the weapon is active because I'm afraid they're gonna just get damaged. The dirt wall is demolished. They told us how like it's a good thing, but it's actually not so good here. Okay, here we go. This should be it, I think. We can do so much damage here. I'm just gonna keep throwing them. I'm just gonna keep throwing them. We did it! Awesome! Oh no, watch out, it's gonna blow! Whoa, crazy. And that should lower the wall for us. Awesome. So the gate's now open. We can save this one castaway. And there's still more to do around here. Looks like there is something to break open here. What's this gonna have for us? Well, plenty more nectar. Plenty of our Pikmin can enjoy that. There we go. What else do we have? There's gotta be a treasure. Whoa, it's a GameCube controller. That's awesome. So first a Joy-Con, now a GameCube controller. All right then, I'm checking the ID. We got Horatio, Uncharted Planet Tourist, home planet Sozor, a proud member of the gig economy. He likes to think he spreads cheer wherever he goes, but he usually does the opposite. Oh no. That's another thing to read on an ID badge. He seems like a rather eccentric sort. I guess so. See, what's to do with this? We got the, I think this is specifically the Wave Bird Nintendo GameCube controller, which if you don't know, was like a wireless controller, which nowadays is sort of standard, but back then wasn't. Most controllers were wired, so to have a, a wireless controller was really cool. Okay, so got even more over here. Guess we'll get all that brought over. Ochi ate the thing, so I guess he'll bring that back. But I think that was everything. Yeah, we're at 100%. We're just waiting for that one thing to be zipped up then. New treasure collected. We're over 30,000 sparklium. Quite the reward. Two more things to find in the newly nostalgic series. Ochi's gonna zip up that one little um, material. So we're good to go. Very successful here at the ultimate testing range. All right, everybody, let's get out of this one. And see what our results are in just a moment. 
And I wonder if there'll be time for me to rush over to some other um, cavern, maybe. But we'll get Horatio and the mystery leafling saved and also adding the one leafling we saved earlier that we were supposed to save in the previous day. We got that all figured out pretty nicely. So, yep, we'll get 100% done here for the ultimate testing range. The investigation is complete with over 30,000 sparkly and we're doing pretty darn well. Okay, back to the surface. I'm sure the 10 second timer is about to kick in, but we'll just do whatever this says. And I'm just gonna pull up the map right away. Is there, we're over 50% through. What other caverns can we get to? I honestly don't see any besides the one with Louie, which I definitely wanna save for last. So I think that'll be for next time then. Cause there'll probably be another cavern over this way. So we'll just have to explore on the top of the building in this thing and then over there. So not too much more I can do after all. We will bring the ship over here though for the sake of it, I guess. Actually, that probably wouldn't be worth it. Just thinking about it because I think there's one Pikmin Sprout. But yeah, I want to get started with all this stuff next time. So we'll be very busy with it. So we'll pluck this one Sprout and just be all done. We did everything we could. It wasn't perfect, but it was still a lot of fun to make our way through this. So we'll stay at the central flame. This looks like yeah, some kind of like brick oven or whatever they call them. Cool. So not quite getting everything I wanted done, but I think we made good choices to focus on that one cavern instead of the one with Louie in it because I have a feeling that's gonna be the last one we're supposed to do, so it would probably be better to get the rest of the area 100% completed first. All right, well, off we go. So now that we've made a home, as you can see, everybody is so happy. And see our results. We'll wanna read through everything we got here. First Horatio and then two Leaflings, getting us up to 39 people saved, as well as a bunch of sparkly and things saved. Uh, Collected. We got the paleontology series all wrapped up. I didn't even notice that when we did it. So that's another series done. And then I think there was at least one or two other series we wrapped up. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, I guess not. Hmm. Okay, so let's take a look. We got creatures, nuggets, winged freedom sculpture, memory fragment, right edge, disc of surprising wisdom, sphere of heart, heart sword, telekinesis detector, straight and narrow track, Sphere of Trust, Relentless Spear, Long Shot Totem, Disc of Amusing Wisdom, Paleontology Series Gold Medal, Slipper Bug Fossil, and Persistence Machine. Cool. And we're 58% through Giant's Hearth, but I think we're gonna be jumping up that percentage quite a lot next time around. I don't know, Colin. I doubt the tales of my misadventures on the job would be of any help to the Rescue Corps. I disagree entirely. I believe they could be a useful reference. Every little bit of information helps on this planet. Ooh. All right, if you insist. First and foremost, you must understand that the schedule is the most important thing. Nobody appreciates late cargo. Hmm. But the real challenge was learning the withstanding long distance travel and all the heavy lifting. Funny story about that. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't wanna hear stories about freight management, Alomar. I wanna hear about your time as a castaway. Little misunderstanding, I suppose. But we did make progress with, of course, more of the side missions. We need to collect plenty more treasures before we can get any more. But that will be saved for, of course, Rescue Mission Day 35. Don't think there's too much more we have to do here. I might check the logs again. Um, since we did run into Louie, maybe there's some Louie updates. And we'll also be rescuing two people here, I think. The leaflings that are snoozing at the moment. All right, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. So will they just cure both at the same time? I think this is the first time we're running into this scenario. Yeah, I guess so. They're both looking pretty woozy. First off, we have Alpin, the CEO of telecom company, home planet Konohan. His boundless ambition drove him to expand his telecommunication business into areas like space travel, food, and entertainment. As well as Chowder, the president of the Tobol Real Estate, home planet Konohan. He followed his whims in real estate for 27 years. Now he travels the galaxy, expecting his next big idea to pop out of nowhere. Interesting. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. We definitely will. So there's a lot of people to talk to in that way. We cured 15 leaflings, so that's another side mission done. We're getting all sorts of rewards. Taking a look at our ID badges, we are slowly getting through all of these, which is nice and exciting. But uh, voyage log for Louie. We got something new. Number two, walking pick pick carrots. These thingies remind me a lot of pick pick carrots. I'd eat them, but then who'd carry my snacks? Which I had a golden pick pick carrot to eat right now. <laughs> that does sound nice. And then Alamar memories. 
The stories Alomar told were always boring, but he never got too angry when I messed up, still drawing a blank on his face. And then Ultimate Testing Range, which of course we read through before. All right, very exciting stuff. Maybe next episode we'll be able to go catch up with Lily once we complete the Giant's Hearth. But either way, still making some great progress. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pikmin 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.